air masses. An air mass is a volume of air that's defined by two things, its temperature and its water vapor content. Air masses can be huge. They may cover hundreds or even thousands of square miles, and they're going to take on the characteristics of the land or ocean that is beneath them. That is to say, an air mass that sits over the ocean will tend to be a humid air mass, while one forming over the land will be more dry. Now, there are five major types of air masses that impact the weather in the continental United States and North America as a whole. The first one we're going to look at comes down from far northern Canada, near the Arctic Circle. This is called a continental Arctic air mass, abbreviated lowercase c, uppercase a. The fact that it formed over land makes it a dry air mass, and because it is so far from the equator, up near the North Pole, it's an extremely cold air mass. CA air masses rarely make it all the way down to the United States, though they do have an impact on our weather. The more common cold air mass that affects us in the United States is a CP, or continental polar air mass. This sort of air mass is dry and cold, though not quite as cold as an Arctic air mass. These swoop down from Canada and have a major impact on the weather in the northeastern United States. We also have wet cold air masses that affect the northwest portion of the United States. These are called MP, or maritime polar air masses. The word maritime tells you it formed over the ocean, making it a humid air mass. And of course, polar refers to it being cold. We may also see maritime polar air masses moving onshore from the North Atlantic Ocean. Let's take a look at some of the warmer air masses that affect the United States. Starting with the continental tropical, or CT, air masses that move northeastern from Mexico. These air masses are very dry and very hot, and have a major impact on the climates of Texas and Oklahoma. We also have maritime tropical, humid, hot air masses that affect the United States. The major source of these air masses is the Gulf of Mexico and the South Atlantic Ocean. So these are a look at the major air masses affecting the United States. Remember, the abbreviations and names for these air masses can be found in your reference tables. And you should pay careful attention to the CP air masses, which move south from Canada, and the MT air masses that move north from the Gulf of Mexico, as those air masses interact in the eastern part of the country to create thunderstorms in the springtime and have a major impact on the climate for New York State. Thanks for listening.